Hey YouTube. Um, I had ideas for videos posted and to be honest most of them were soft tube stuff I found and I don't really want to post them. You see Tony D is not the only Italian on here. I love you, Tony, but I'm also Italian. And I got a temper. As far as the dog drama, and yes, it is drama, I am absolutely disgusted with everyone. Everyone. It was something small that should have been handled quietly. And now I'm getting messages saying, oh well who are you standing with? Are you, Whose side are you on? You know what? I'm not standing with anyone. I'm a big girl. I stand on my own two feet. Let me make that clear now. So I, of course, here am running the chance of losing people. Because I won't make a choice. Or do I stay quiet and harbor resentment? No. I've always said I don't give a, I don't give a flying fuck about my subs. I don't care how many fucking subs I have. The ones I have, yeah, you know what? You guys are all important to me. However, it's not worth me staying quiet. Not on here. I have the respect of the people that matter to me. And they know who they are. Same amount of respect I have for them. So I get these messages. And they say I should, you know, basically become a bully and gang up on Kevin and and Zen Archer and I don't I don't know Smooth Operator, so that didn't really enter into it. I had no idea who he was up until this, so um and then in, I've got people on the other side saying that I should look down on it because, you know, Peggy and Solomon and TJ and it's oh so, you know, this and that. No. Fuck that. I adore Peggy and Solomon and TJ. And I'm going to make that clear. And they know that. Um, I think Peggy is one of the three people on YouTube that actually have my phone number. So, and then let's go on the other side. Kevin was the reason I joined YouTube. Kevin always took the time out when I was first starting. He answered any private messages. If you look at the beginning of my channel, I think almost every video I did was in response to something he did and he encouraged me and he was always kind and he was always sweet he still is he's a lot more busier now I mean he he exploded on the nets but he still has time if I private messaged him right now he'd probably respond right away because he's that type of person he's a good person He's a little airheaded sometimes, Kevin, I love you, but you are. And <laughs> it's just disgusting. Everybody keeps saying how much they value their community, how, oh, we had such a community spirit. You know what? We did for one weekend. What is there now? 
tainted memories? <laughs> you know, I, I can see why I can see why so many people take a break from YouTube and then you never see them again. I'm starting to understand. Am I leaving? Hell no. Hell no. Sorry. Not gonna happen. By making this video, do I take the chance that people I like and respect will block me? Of course. But, if they do, they probably weren't worthy of my friendship to begin with, were they? A lot of people It's almost like people set others up just so they can tear them down. Peggy and Solomon and TJ don't deserve to be torn down. They don't need to explain anything to any of us. Especially not asking them to account for money donated. It's none of your fucking business. She's already made a very well, you know, she made a vlog, her and Solomon, about, you know, what was going on and yada, yada, yada. They, I don't think they needed, they don't need to, need to explain anything. Um, and then I'm going to flip it completely. Kevin's gone above and beyond what he needed to do. Kevin uses his humor to make light of situations. It's not, it's not that he doesn't feel. He does. It's how he expresses how much he cares. If he didn't care, if he was a complete asshole, he wouldn't have made any video whatsoever. He'd have ignored it. He didn't. And Kevin, I would like to say, I don't think you needed to go the step to making donation to the the animal um, protection thing. It's very nice that you did, but I don't feel you should. I don't think you should feel obligated to do so. So what do we have? We have two people on YouTube that have the respect of a lot of people. And now everything is being played out in videos. People taking sides and people saying, you know, if you don't agree with me, you know, fuck off and I'll block you. It's like watching two fundamentalists try to prove something. Neither of them are right. And any level-headed person can see that. What one of them may have started out correctly, one person might have made a mistake, but the fact that all the people that jump in and start screaming and yelling, you lose the point. You lose the high moral ground. You lose, you lose the people that aren't willing. Ugh, it's not even, it's not even, I, I, you know what, I don't even know how to explain it right now.